Hello and welcome to GS Funk. The update on my current uh, progress on learning Go. Uh, I recently thought I learn Go by making games, and uh, I chose uh, this library, Pixel, uh, which is really good. Uh, it is almost identical to uh, Raylib. If you notice, Raylib is uh, pretty much popular, and if you look at Pixel, it is almost like that, and if you want to see what I've done so far and let's run the source this is like an intro I'm making and that's it so now if you're wondering what the hell it was so uh, my intro scene is kind of like my events yes they're actually like my events and storyboard is my event manager so this is like a storyboard i might be having one storyboard i might have another intro scene right so i'll be adding few more storyboards but the internally storyboard is part of a stack which implements a stack interface which i have created maybe i'll show and explain in uh, next video uh, so this storyboard gets pushed to this stack so the stack is uh, made in a such a way the thing which you push at the end will be uh, visible first so if you notice once this stack was finished I was showing this pop up message and just to clarify it further maybe I'll add few more things and now if I try to run this at the end, when everything is done, I load this map here with a player. <laughs> Simple uh, storyboard. And at the bottom, you can see uh, what is happening in the background. So this is my sleeping character. I'm hitting the space bar now. And these are all the things which we added just now. And if you look at this, this guy never moves because uh, he has only one state that is wait state and I cannot cross him. And there is this uh, another NPC which is moving. He just moves around. That's it. He doesn't have any uh, AI as of now. And if you look at this bed, I cannot cross this bed because I have placed uh, uh, like collision layers uh, using tiled map editor. I'll show you which uh, software I'm using for creating tiles. Uh, so far, this tile sets uh, is free. I just downloaded it from free open source uh, community. And uh, now if you have to check out my tiled. So this is what it is. This is the previous map, the new map. So these are all the maps, uh, like images. I, this tile sets, I got it from internet for free and I just place them accordingly as per my needs. And uh, uh, I was talking about the stack, right? So stack is like a uh, interface. So uh, state stack, uh, it's a array of stack interface. So if any of these structs, any type struct is implementing a stack interface, it is uh, it, it will be able to get added as a uh, uh, <laughs> you will be able to push it on the stack so that is how I'm uh, making things uh, right now I think um, my game is almost uh, there where I would say maybe call it as a version 0 0.1 because uh, I'm able to add NPCs I'm able to display uh, uh, messages and uh, I'm able to even create menu uh, there is no combat system yet um, I, I can even change the map now because uh, I've created another um, small little utility over here called maps db uh, which I'm going to load maps as per my needs uh, based on the stack provided so let's say assume um, I'm done with this stack and then I'm loading this stack and once the user interacts through a certain trigger uh, yes, I have triggers as well. Uh, on that particular trigger, I will run certain functions. 
and that function would be probably loading a new map and I have all that in place and I have this storyboard which has different different events and the special part uh, about storyboard is storyboard is accepting any interface so if you look at this part uh, intro scene I am not specifying what kind of things these guys are going to be okay but if you look at the create so create is accepting events that is the type of interface so when you say interface you can accept anything and once I'm running that I'm just pushing those interfaces to an events which is an array of interface right but the amazing part happens when you are updating okay the update this particular update function is run inside my state stack okay once that is run I am of course again running my internal uh, stack but once you are inside this for loop I am running this switch statement over here which is checking oh whether this is a type of function whether this is type of wait event and blah 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 right and once I have done this I am again assigning those executing those closure functions to the events back again like kind of I'm overwriting them and I'm making sure they're all type of SB event um, interface so SB event is uh, uh, st storyboard events okay and these are all those events and uh, this is one of the events I'll just show you twin event which I'm creating a twin event over here which is using I'm using it for my text animations uh, the animations are not that great yet but uh, as you can see it is implementing an interface so update is blocking is finished render and it's over here and if you click on this you will see I'm implementing an SB interface right and uh, going back to the storyboard again so once I have the value I'm just updating those um, interfaces so that they will be able to evaluate themselves so when you hit update okay let's say for example that interface at this type of run and when, when my for loop is running at this point of e time if that SB event is a twin event type then the update function would get triggered which is over here right and it will run it will update my twin animation and I'm running an apply funk over here it, which is another uh, closure thing which I'm doing uh, but so far I'm happy with my progress and uh, I had no previous uh, game development experience this is my first ever thing first ever game into any programming language so to the fact uh, I'm using Golang for the first time and I'm learning Golang and I'm creating this game. I just hope um, this keeps on going. If you need any help, how to learn, how to learn making games, post on comments. I'll I'll, I'll be happy to solve your problems. And uh, so far what I'm doing is I'm using few uh, simple uh, design patterns. So um, I'm using behavioral patterns. The one which you saw was state another uh, which I'm I'm going I have something in my mind I'm, I'm going to implement a container heap which is inbuilt inside uh, Golang and uh, I'm reading different different books if you look at my books collection there are so many books and uh, this is the one which I'm reading right now and uh, that's it post your questions comments I'll be happy to help you Thank you.